Hello, this is Andrei and um, I just finished the sixth week of the Masters in Computer Science and uh, for the past week I've been doing um, uh, just coursework so I will focus in this video explaining how uh, much time things and the course actually requires, how is it like with the deadlines, with the coursework and the overall feel of the workload that uh, we have to do in this Masters. So. The overall thing is that it takes time and um, there are many deadlines uh, because we have uh, no exams and we take all our marks only through the coursework and project during the semester. So it actually takes much time and it's quite a bit of pressure during the semester. And um, for the past week, um, we had a deadline on Monday for the probabilistic machine course, a deadline on Friday for the digital signal processing. Now this Monday I'm taking a test for the, uh, some PhD applications. On Friday there is another um, deadline for digital signal processing. Now three days later, uh, next Monday there will be a um, deadline for the probabilistic machine learning and each of these deadlines that requires uh, like 25 um, hours of actual learning and work and the workload is generally um, quite big. So this means that uh, to keep on top of things in a week, it requires minimum 50 hours of actual work from what I see because I don't understand how else you can finish the things that they ask you to finish because there is quite um, a big amount of uh, of work now the two courses that i'm doing right now are quite mathematical heavy and they require some time to get your head around but generally a typical week requires 50 hours of actual work and what i mean by actual work it means this 50 hours should be the actual time you spend learning and doing things and it doesn't include um, uh, breaks, um, time spent traveling, nothing, just 50 hours of actual work. So this comes in, in reality of like 70 hours, 75, 80 to uh, devoting to, to school, which is uh, good in a way because this is why we came here to study. But in the other way, um, I feel like this, uh, amount of um, work uh, does not let my mind to go in other directions like I literally don't have time to think of other things um, and whenever my mind starts wandering around I uh, feel like that's not the thing that it should be doing right now because I should focus on the course and this is why the single thing I am talking this video is just the course because I didn't do much than just the course. Now, it, it feels like I didn't do anything uh, 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 outside of the course, but on a macro perspective, I've just started this master's of, um, uh, two months ago. So I didn't do anything else for the past two months, but um, two months is a little period of time. So it's gonna be, it's, it's, it's gonna be fine, but for example, this week I managed to uh, get 60 hours of real work and um, it, it's a good amount of time, but I don't think this is sustainable because I feel um, uh, I'm starting to feel exhausted um, and uh, I hope that after uh, the semester finishes I can um, uh, take it um, a little bit easier because um, it's definitely not sustainable. So this is generally what happens in this course, but for the next week, I made um, the weekly planning and it's pretty much the same uh, thing, um, meaning coursework, learning and doing things for school. Uh, the three main things that I'm going to do is a test on Monday for which I need to travel to London. So that will take one day. And uh, outside of that, there is uh, this deadline for digital signal processing on Friday and that will take about 25 hours to wrap my head around about what's happening because if you're thinking of taking the digital signal course processing don't because um it's just 
a different way of thinking than um, a computer science students is uh, used to and uh, it takes so much time to wrap um, uh, my head around what is happening in that course and uh, um, if you have a different choice then um, pick, one, pick that if it's interesting to you. So one day is gone, now 25 hours for this coursework is gone and the next Monday there is um, another deadline for the D for the probabilistic machine learning. Now this time is about probabilistic ranking. So how um, we can rank uh, people in a competition. So for example, uh, tennis players and uh, um, it's definitely an interesting problem but it will take another 25 hours um, of doing this thing. And um, in these three things, I literally told you what I am going to do in the next week. Um, I hope to make time to talk to my supervisor about the research project. And um, that is pretty much about it. Um, I hope to have um, good news in the next week. And uh, I hope that uh, everything is going well. Now that I'm speaking uh, in this video, the air here is super clean and I can feel um, uh, that the winter is coming by, um, uh, you, you can't see, but uh, there is um, um, hot air coming out of my mouth and you can see that um, it's, um, it's visible in the air. So the winter is clearly coming. The air is very clean here and um, that's pretty much about it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.